Hi, I'm Jack Cush. I'm here at RWCS with Kimmy Fisher from the Ohio State University. The Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio. Kimmy's one of the fellows here and has an abstract. Kimmy, what's your what's your abstract about? I see it's about IgG4. Yeah, so we had a very unique case, uh, a patient that presented with uh, neurologic deficits and was found to have a spinal mass, and then biopsy showed the IgG4 disease, and she had an excellent response to therapy with steroids and eventually Imuran. Now, how many of you of these have you seen in your fellowship? I have about five in my practice, but most of them have been follow-up patients that were diagnosed prior to me starting. One of the issues is I think that this diagnosis is being diagnosed a lot by a few people and being missed a lot by a lot of people. Correct. What's your suggestion as far as how this could be more easily diagnosed or what, what should people be using in making the diagnosis? So based on the consensus that's been uh, published, they suggest a histiopathic uh, diagnosis. So anytime you have an undiagnosed mass concerning symptoms, um, you should prove it with a biopsy. And once you get the biopsy results, that's really how you decide upon the diagnosis. The IgG4 levels themselves are actually not um, as beneficial as you can see elevations in these and other diseases. Right, so is this still a tissue diagnosis? Correct. All right, good to see you here at RWCS. Come back next year. Thank you.